Hey everybody, I'm back again. Third time's a charm. I keep screwing this up, so hopefully technology, technology and I will get along soon. So I'm here today because I want to tell you a little bit about our um, Make It From Your Heart. There are four volumes to Make It For Your Heart, and these are our Close To My Heart sketchbooks, and I love them. So if ever you tell me that you're not crafty or you don't feel inspired, um, all I'm going to do is to show you to this because you don't have to be crafty or have inspiration in your heart right away. This will give it all to you. Now, I will tell you, I am the first one to go to Pinterest and look at all the Pinterest stuff. But the nice thing about this over Pinterest is it gives you actual, 100% actual diagrams and sizes. So, um, let me just show you real quick how to work this. We have this one's a scrapbooking one and has 36 sketches. And then I have two in this book. They come, okay, let me start over. They come with these nice heavy duty pages. They're not like paper that can rip. They're nice heavy duty thick pages. They do not come with the album. The album is separate, but that way it saves you a little bit of money. You can just purchase this and you can tie it up with ribbon or you can use those little metal binding um, rings or you can get you an album and stick it in there. Now I like this album because it fits two. I have make it from your heart three and four, which is from cards, which is for cards. So all the way in the back. So it has 24 card sketches in here and 36 scrapbooking sketches all in this one book. So I'm just gonna go through really quickly and teach you how to use our sketchbooks. First of all, if you have, you wanna, you wanna um, pick your paper, pick your picture. So let's say you have, let's say six pictures that you wanna use. So right in here, it gives you nice little gray and white photos of the sketches so that you can um, kind of get an idea of the design you're looking for, but you also wanna go by the photo. So say I have six photos. So let me go through here and find right here. Oh, we've skipped over to seven photos. So here we've got five photos, five photos, five photos, six. Oh, here's six. Now, how do I like that one? That one's pretty cool. Let's look at this one as six. This one is six. So look at all these that have six photos. Mm, this one looks kind of interesting. This uses a lot of paper. And sometimes I like to use a lot of paper, but let's see. Let's go with this one just because it looks kind of fun. So sketch 18 on page 40 has six photos. So we're gonna do this one, page 40. All right, that looks fun, huh? All right, so this shows two different uh, color palettes for this one. And it also has artwork tip down here. This artwork tip says, the great thing about stamps is that they can be stamped in any ink color that fits your color scheme. You can also color them in to perfectly match your photos. So like for this, the school one, um, if you had, if your kid, see the, the teal matches the child's teal shirt. Whereas if you had someone wearing a green shirt or a blue shirt, you could do those doors to match. Anyway, so I digress. All right, so we're gonna go back over here to the sketches. So if you know what paper palette you wanna use or paper pack, the next thing you wanna do is kind of plan where you want what to go. So I'm gonna just let you see right here. See, can you see that that is a G? G whiz. So G will also coordinate to one up here. So if you look for G here, you've got G here. And this is also A and D. So you know that that same paper is used here, here, and here. So let's look over here. We've got, you see that red here and here and here? So you kind of determine which, which paper do you want to use for that. So let's just say, for instance, all right, I want to use this one. So I'm going to use that one for this one. And this shows where you want, even it has this little pair of scissors right here. It shows you where your first cut goes. So your first cut is at three and a half right here. And then you're gonna cut it at 10 inches. And the same thing here. Now next is two inches and two inches and there at 10. All right, so you know that this one goes on page two and this one, one of those goes on page two and one goes on page one. All right, now let's look at our next paper. We've got B and F. B and F, so I'm gonna look over here and determine B and F are these two, that's that black one. So maybe I wanna do this green one. So that's what I'm gonna cut next at three and a half by 10 and two and a quarter and 10. And then see, now I'd probably figure out all of my paper first to be quite honest with you, figure out all my paper first before I start cutting. So C is this large one. So now what do I wanna use for that? 
So C, well, I'm just going to grab it because it's close, but I'm going to use some pink cardstock for that. So I know when I cut that, five and a half by 10. And then E, where is E? E is this middle one. So that's that green one. That's a whole nother pattern that's been brought in. So let's use this yellow one for that. And then this has you with a pocket card for your journaling. All right. So then you can go about start your cutting and then put it together. Now, when you cut it, put it together, this is what I want you to notice. And it even shows you where to put it. So it's showing you starting at this inside, um, inside, you're going to go an inch down and put A, and then you'll put B, and then you'll put C, and you'll come over here with D, E, F, and G. So that's kind of how you even lay them down. And so this is suggesting that you put the photos right here like this. Of course, you can do anything you want with it, but that's where the suggested photos go. So isn't that easy? And then there you go. And then you just put your decorations on. So I'm going to go through another one just for funsies. So let's do... Oh, well, here's the other thing. Where'd it go? Here's the other thing that's cool about this one. Let's pick a different one. Um, all right, let's go with this one. This one's pretty easy for this. So you've got A and E, so you know that's your outside pieces. So we're going to go with this one because you can tell the colors better. A and E are here. So choose what you want to use for that. B, F, D, and I are the are over here, the blue pieces. And it's kind of deceiving to the eye. Instead of one large piece, you have all these smaller pieces. And then this has our zip strips. And our zip strips are the pieces of paper that come on our cards. Our, our pattern paper actually comes to you 12 and a half by 12. And on one side, it has the name of the kit. And then it's got all your featured colors. So if you ever go to stamp, you've got the featured colors right there. So you don't have to guess which color works. Here are your colors. So this has two zip strips, both cut. One is cut to nine inches and one is cut to eight inches. And then it's got a, a pocket. Now here's what's fun about them. For every sketch that you have, you have four different layouts from this. So we've got it. So let's just pretend this. So we're looking at this one in particular. You can see this is from the outside. So now flip that 90 degrees or no, 180 degrees. So now your, this guy is going to be on the inside and it's going to go, it's going to flip all the way around. So these are on the outside. So also you can flip them this way. So if we're going to move each of those a quarter in so that this is going to be across the top and then this is going to meet in the middle and go all the way across. So you can see all the different design elements you have out of one sketch. You can turn each of these sketches four different directions. All right, let's play with another one. All right, this one's kind of cool. Same thing, you can see um, C and J. C and J are here. And then P, where is P? That's this little piece up here. So you can kind of look at that. This one, it's this heart one. So what paper do you want to use here? And then this one has got the mats. So you can see this six and a quarter by four and a quarter mat, and it tells you how, which, where you're starting your cuts. All right, and then A is your first piece you're gonna put down, and you can see that it is one inch from the bottom going up. And then there's B and C, D, E, F, and G. So you got that whole page done, and then this shows you to put your first page a half an inch, or your first mat a half an inch in and a half an inch up from your um, A line. So it tells you exactly where to put everything. And then your artwork tip, draw attention to your title by adding clusters of smaller stamped images and embellishments. So super cute. Now moving over here to cards, and this is actually the sketch that I used for um, the card, the, the meeting that we're gonna be having this coming Thursday at 3.30 with Noel. This is the card that I used. And so again, you can see this can go four different directions. You can have it this way, or you can turn it to be a horizontal card and have your little doodad on the right side. You can flip it up and have it closer to the top or flip it that way and have your doodads on the right side. So for every card, you've got four different ones. You can turn it four different ways. But again, on this one, you see A, piece A is four and a quarter by half of an inch. Piece B, 
and it's it's a slightly different gray tone so you can see a darker gray lighter gray and even lighter so b is this whole piece right here and that's four and a quarter by two c is four and a quarter by one and a half and then d matches a over here you can see that means it's the same paper they're the same tone that's a half an inch by four and a quarter as well and you can compare this to the card that's over here to kind of gauge that so these are really great ways to, to get inspired and to um, like this one shows two different color palettes you've got your pinks and then this little piece they did made a scallop so really cute really easy ways to um, to get your groove on with scrapping okay so I actually with this brushed paper I challenged my workshop ladies people that wanted to come to my workshop to send me a sketch and I would create this whole workshop off of their sketches and Jody sent me this one now this is a photocopy so it really stinks because my printer is out of ink this comes from our make it from our heart our first one which mine when I went to look for mine so that I could actually show you my book they're both MIA so I have no idea who has them if you're watching this and you borrowed mine please return it um, I can still order them so I can get some more but I really don't want to have to order more because mine has been borrowed all right, so here's this sketch, and you can't see this very well, but I went on because I did um, because I did photocopy it, and I wrote exactly what I was using. So I knew I wanted my yellow roses, my ombre. So I pre-did everything this way, and in my other video that didn't turn out because you couldn't hear a word I said, um, I actually cut everything live here, but we're not going to be able to do that. So this piece right here, I haven't cut my, or I did cut it, but I haven't finished it yet because I'm going to be Cricut cutting this. But here is my version so far out of the brush, and I used my shimmer brushes to just splatter the background paper. So this is, I haven't glued it down yet because again, I'm going to be Cricut cutting this piece. And that's the second page, and I knew that with this yellow, with this ombre dots I wanted my yellow to show because I was using yellow matte so I made sure I put my paper in that way but there are my two pages for this workshop so far and you'll see the rest when I'm all finished but the other thing that I decided to do with this one because this piece is a 6 by 12 is I am going to add a flip flap what is a flip flap you may ask oh great question Flip flaps are something patented for close to my heart that adds more opportunity to add more photos. So they come in a myriad of sizes from two by two all the way up to six by 12. And then you just adhere, it's got this really nice adhesive on it and you just pull this off and you adhere, adhere it to your page protector. Or if it's a smaller one, you could adhere it straight to your page and then cut your page protector. But this makes this page now turn into from 12 inches to 18 by 12. So I, so I have even more opportunities to add more photos. So probably what I'll be doing is add this one here. And then I will add some more journaling spots in there. This paper also comes with this really cute sticker sheet. And I have two more layouts to create with this, but um, the paper is $9.95 and it comes with this whole sticker sheet. And then the coordinating cardstock is also $9.95. So with those two, and then you will just use some white paper out of your stash at home, or I have white paper at Scrap you if you if you want close to my heart white paper. But that's what we're gonna do with this one. We're gonna use the coordinating cardstock and the paper pack with stickers, and we're gonna make six pages out of that. And then we will also do a flip flap and a Cricut cut. So that's gonna be some fun times. Also, um, last but not least, we're gonna be doing a bingo soon. Um, next Monday, not this coming to Monday, next Monday we're doing a bingo. And we'll be making this page together teaching you how to make this page and then I'm actually going to be cutting it diagonal and creating a two-page layout with this so yeah this will be a page that we're going to be making at our during our bingo with your paper from home I'm going to be mailing this out oh um 
And then again, so next Thursday, we're going to be getting together with Noelle for her party. And we're in our card that we're making that I showed you earlier. We're going to be using this ladybug. Now mine, uh, I'll made you is just the black. This is my prototype. Look, her little wings open up to show the sentiment inside. So you'll be seeing that too. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys soon. Bye.